Price picture. Good morning. Today, we'll talk about the most dramatic moment in the entire Tanakh. Joseph had been dangling his brothers like puppets on a string, and they didn't know where they were going and what was going to happen. He had them believing that he was going to arrest all of them and cause their deaths and the deaths of all their children. He was going to deny them the food that they desperately needed unless they brought Benjamin. And now that they had brought Benjamin, he had arranged for Benjamin to be caught red-handed as a thief. And their worst fears were being realized. Their father, who loved Benjamin, was in danger of losing his life. And they had already caused the grief of their father 22 years earlier by selling their brother Joseph, who they felt was a scoundrel, who tried to stick it to them, even though he was brighter, smarter, more successful, more charismatic than any one of them, or all of them together. Nonetheless, they resented him trying to stick it to them all the time. And so what did they do? They sold him as a slave and then their father went into perpetual mourning for 22 years. And they could not get their father to even smile. For 22 years, their father was ashen, mourning. They couldn't stand themselves for what they had done. And now, they were about to do the same exact thing by having their beloved brother Benjamin been taken as a slave to this no goodnik, this low life, this piece of garbage in Egypt who controls all of the food in Egypt. And Judah presents himself pleading, threatening, cajoling, criticizing, arguing, intimidating, offering himself as a sacrifice. And Joseph can't stand it anymore. And Joseph is about to reveal himself to his brothers. And he dismisses everybody from before him, puts his life in his, in his hands in danger. Because these guys can rip him apart. He's as strong as any of them, but not ten on one. And what does he say? He says, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? One of the strangest and most powerful statements ever recorded in the history of man. I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? How could he even question that? Here is Judah pleading, take me as a slave. Leave the kid alone. I'm better than everything. I can do anything you want because I can't imagine causing the pain that, that my father lived through. And the whole pleading, the whole proceeding is based upon the, the, the awareness of how the father is going to be hurt. How could Joseph even question When he says, I am Joseph, is my father alive? How could he question it? So let me tell you what I think. In every generation there are Josephs and there are Judas. In every generation there are people who due to their jealousies of other people force other people to move away from the community where they lived, where they loved, where they worked, into a strange area, into a foreign area. And those people who were chased away had no desire of coming back or dealing with the families that they had left. <coughs> they became acclimated to their new surroundings and in fact succeeded 
because of the motivation of wanting to forget. <laughs> and Joseph was such a person. He wanted to forget his brothers. He even wanted to forget his father. His father who had favored him and caused the ire of all the brothers to be focused on him. His father who had unwisely sent him to his brothers at a distant place where Jacob could not supervise and there was no one else there. How could he send a 17-year-old boy to the lion's den where the brothers hated him? He couldn't forgive his father for what he had done. He wanted to forget. And therefore he said, I've changed so much in these 22 years. I live differently from the way I lived when I was amongst you. My thoughts are different. My horizons are different. My activities are different. My loves are different. My goals are different. But I am Joseph. Is it possible that the father who loved me is still alive in his love? Is it possible that father could still accept me as I am? And every day we go before the Rabbi Nishalaylam and ask them, can you accept me the way I am? You've sent me away from Gan Eden. You've sent me away from the Torah. You've sent me away from holiness. You've sent me to this world. And I like this world. I've been successful in this world. In my own terms, I've been successful. And I realize I want to come back. Is there a way that you can accept me? Is my father still alive with the same love that he had when I was in a pristine condition? studying Torah on the highest level. Is that father's love still alive?